Hi, I'm Steve Calgar, and I think I forgot my parachute. Oh god. Oh wait, here it is. I am a paratrooper today, and I'm playing Heroes and Generals. In fact, this is pretty much the same place from the brief int introduction video that I did uh, a couple of weeks ago. And he is dead, but that doesn't surprise me, because he was getting shot at by a tank. Okay, so the paratrooper. Uh, again, like all the other classes I have already shown you, six equipment points. The paratrooper can use the semi-automatic rifle, the M1 Garand, or a submachine gun, which is either the M3 Grease gun, the starting machine submachine gun, or the Thompson, which you get after using the submachine gun quite a lot. And that tank is really annoying. So I'm just going to sit down here for a while. And that tank has seen me. This is one thing I really like to do. I just ah, oh, I just inf infuriate the tanks. Um paratroopers are very useful because in large numbers they can quickly overwhelm a point so uh, whenever I've played paratrooper I always tend to do particularly well just generally I don't know why I, I'm, I'm not usually that good at video games but when my paratrooper, I just tend to go with it, and lot lots of Germans end up dead when I'm around, which is good for my team, not so much for the Germans. And the thing about paratroopers is, you can really annoy people by doing what I just did, which is parachuting right behind them and just filling them with lots and lots of holes. I think that tank saw me again. So duck in cover. Um, yeah, so paratrooper spawns in the C-47A Skytrain which is the big plane you saw me in earlier and I'm trying to evade this tank so I shall jump on top of it except for the fact that there's another tank over there and there's a sniper over there wait sorry not sniper guy with a machine gun or a submachine gun so yeah um, unfortunately, at the moment, I am only I am the only person in the assault team, so uh, I can't be as effective as I could be if I was with like three other people, because paratroopers work best in large numbers because they can just overwhelm a position very, very, very quickly. Uh, the paratroopers weren't in when I started playing, but they were in updates before then, so it's nice to see them back. Uh, because I always wanted to know what a paratrooper what what being a paratrooper felt like. And And that guy is dead. That's one thing I love doing. I just love taking out the tank drivers. Uh, it's always loads of fun, and then later you can walk over to the tank and just steal it. That is, unless someone else spawns in the tank, or if the tank despawns because no one's been in it for a while. Those are two things that happen uh, a, a few times in Heroes and Generals. Um, oh, and the guy was back. It was a zombie panda. 
so paratroopers when you're being a paratrooper I suggest you go with the uh, with a submachine gun so usually the M3 grease gun until you can get the Thompson because the Thompson is good I haven't used the Thompson because I haven't ever gotten enough credits to use it well to buy it so poor me yes poor me and that's preparing for the next pass there won't be a next pass well there will probably but I think that's going to get shot down okay so top tip for paratroopers always try to jump in behind people with bigger guns than you so if there's a tank in the area you want to capture go behind the tank and just jump around on top of it making other tanks shoot at you and making the tank think that uh, they're going to team kill him so that they will then kill the tank well kill the other people that has never happened for me so and yeah but if you want to be a paratrooper try to go for the submachine gun it's better than the semi-automatic rifle considering what the paratrooper does and I managed to evade that guy Ow. Okay, so this has been Steve Kalgar, uh, playing Heroes and Generals, and I will see you again next time. Bye.